Ladies and gentlemen, as you guys know on the channel, we like to dive into the story of Call of Duty, sometimes looking at the bigger picture and sometimes diving in deep on an individual character. So far, we have looked at Kate Laswell, but today we're going on the other side of things. We're going to look at some of the evil characters within Modern Warfare 2. The biggest one, of course, and the one that I think a lot of people have the most questions about is Commander Philip Graves. He is the leader of Shadow Company within Modern Warfare 2, and there's actually a little bit more to his backstory and some things you may not know about him from previous Call of Duty games. Yes, that's right, Modern Warfare 2 wasn't the first game that he was in. So essentially what we're going to do is dive into his backstory, look at what happened to him in Modern Warfare 2, and look at how he ended up at the end of the campaign. But before we do that, let me first tell you about today's video sponsor. I've told this story before, but essentially a while ago I was streaming and someone put a link in chat and I clicked it and I wasn't using a VPN. So immediately that person had my IP address, all my information, where I was, and it was a pretty scary situation. But that is why today's video is sponsored by Atlas VPN. Now, if you don't know what a VPN is, essentially what it does is it takes your IP address, it masks it, and you can make it look like you're essentially anywhere else in the world. This can help with a lot of things like protecting your identity. It can also help with internet speeds. But on top of that, it also does some other pretty cool things. For example, say you live in the United States and and you want to watch a show like Friends on Netflix. Well, it's not available in the US, but if you change your location with the VPN, you can access tons of region blocked content. This works for TV shows, video games, and a bunch of other stuff as well. Now, unlike other VPNs with Atlas VPN, you can actually use it on unlimited devices so you can be protected whether you're using your laptop, your phone, or your home PC. Now, the best thing about Atlas VPN is it's not crazy expensive like a lot of these other services. In fact, they are offering a Black Friday deal right now where if you buy three years, you get it for $1.70 a month plus free six months as well, which is an amazing, amazing deal and very cheap for what you're getting here. Now, this is Atlas's best deal of the year by far. So you want to get it quickly while it is still available. And all you got to do to get it is click that first link down in the description, get yourself protected. And thank you, Atlas VPN for sponsoring the video. What a lot of you may not know is the first time that we see Graves is not in Modern Warfare 2. In fact, Graves was in Call of Duty 4 Modern Warfare Remastered. Let's get this over and done with quickly. Better you're not seen here. You again. Make it quick, I got things to do. So I think it's very clear to say that these are not the same character. Graves in Call of Duty 4 Remastered was, first of all, Irish. He was the quartermaster and a very different character than the one that we see in Modern Warfare 2. Speaking of which, as far as Philip Graves goes, he does not have much of a backstory before the game. What we do know is he was formerly a part of the US Army Special Forces before becoming a PMC and a member of Shadow Company. But not just a member, he is also the commander and CEO of the organization as well. This will become important later. Now, it's important to note that the first time we see Shadow Company, and by the way, if you want to see a future video distinctly on Shadow Company, just hit that like button. Let's say if this gets 10 thousand likes, we will continue that on and speak about Shadow Company in a future video. But as far as Shadow Company goes, they were first introduced in Season 5 of Modern Warfare 2019 and Warzone. This is important because the General and Captain Price brought in Shadow Company to help fight Alcatala after Armistice fell apart. Now, fast forward to Modern Warfare 2, about six months before the events of Modern Warfare 2, we find out a little bit about something that happened behind the scenes with General Shepard and Shadow Company. Remember, this is incredibly important because the CEO of Shadow Company is Philip Graves. I uncovered redacted intel regarding a black bag operation conducted by General Shepard and carried out by Shadow Company. They were transacting American-made ballistic missiles to our allies fighting Russians in the Middle East. The mission did not go as planned. Who are we carrying this time, Graves? I told you I'd have to kill you. I bet he'd do it too. It's nothing but a milk run, boys. Guns for the good guys. We'll be back here at HQ for breakfast. Don't shit the bed and there'll be bonuses all around. Find me when you're back. Yep, 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 yep. 
So two months before the events of Modern Warfare 2, there was a black bag operation between Shadow Company and directed by General Shepard. He informed Shadow Company that they were to bring a ballistic missile into the Middle East to give it a territorial advantage against the Russians and against Alcatala. In doing so, somehow their information was received by Alcatala and the Russians and they were intercepted. They were stopped in the middle of the road and basically taken down. After this, the Russians managed to steal three ballistic missiles from Shadow Company. All of the events of Modern Warfare 2 were to follow up with this, and General Shepard and Shadow Company essentially covering their own asses. Now we first become weary of this in a mission where Ghost and Soap go in to hunt down General Hassan, when in doing so, they end up finding one of the American ballistic missiles. At this point, it is very strange because General Shepard doesn't want them to find out more intel as to where these actually came from, he just wants them simply destroyed. Give my team two hours with those missiles, sir. I will know everybody who's ever breathed on them. Negative. I want them destroyed. General. There's valuable intel there. This is an intelligence failure, Laswell. It's not gonna be a tactical one. There will be 500 enemy soldiers on that site by sunrise. We need a win fast. Gold Eagle actual to ghost. Move your team and call for fire. I want those weapons destroyed. So that's our first alarm bell in regards to General Shepard, but at this point we weren't really introduced to Philip Graves. Later on in a mission in Mexico, as they hunt down General Hassan, Philip Graves provides AC-130 Overwatch to our team. That is when he's kind of introduced to us. Hook, line, fucking sinker, that's what I'm talking about, Shadows! You know I love that shit! Kyle's gave me the gem. Jack. Graves, actual, make my day. We got him. Escorting back to base as we speak. Make it quick. We can't hold him for long. Roger that. So this is the first time we get to see the interaction between General Shepard and Graves, and we can see immediately that they are very, very friendly. The next scene where we see Graves is where he is interrogating General Hassan. Y'all got a clear picture? Crystal. All set. All right. You're live, folks. You speak Arabic? No. Farsi? No. Of course not. And I'll speak your bastardized medieval English. Because you're all uneducated street dogs. Ah, oh, see, we're getting off to a bad start here, son. You're talking to Al Quds Force Officer. You're the commander of a foreign terror organization. I can say the same to you. What's your target? Now that's a really interesting line from Hassan, calling Graves a terrorist, because as we're going to find out, there is quite the betrayal behind Shadow Company and behind General Shepard. But for now, Graves seems friendly. He seems as though he is helping out Task Force 141, helping out General Shepard. But from Hassan's point of view there, that is some pretty good foreshadowing. See what I did there? So everything is going hunky-dory. Shadow Company working with Task Force 141. They even track down another one of the missiles. They end up finding it out on an oil rig and the team manages to destroy it. That is until they return to the Los Vaqueros compound. In doing so, that is when we see Shepard's and on top of that, Shadow Company's big betrayal. This. this is the immediate future. Step away from the gate. What? You heard me. You're crazy. This is my base. Not a base. This is a sizable covert facility. And I admire it. So I'm taking. You boys have been relieved. Thank you for your service. No, no, no. I don't take orders from you. Didn't Valeria say that? Now that makes me wonder what else I don't know about your affiliation with the drug lord. What the fuck did you just say to me, Ben Lying griefs. Don't do that. Don't do that. No one needs to get hurt here. Are you threatening us? Soldier, I don't make threats. I make guarantees. So let's not do this. I'm calling Shepard. General Shepard sends his regards. He told me all wouldn't take this well. He knows about us. He's put me in command of this operation from here on out. So y'all need to stand down. It's time to let the pros finish this. And why the hell are we talking like this is some kind of negotiation? It's not. I've got my orders. 
And now you have yours. And who the fuck do you think you are, cabrón? My men are inside! I'm afraid not. Your men have been detained. So from here, we can see Graves and Shadow Company turn on Task Force 141 at the orders of General Shepard once again. This is clearly to cover up the missing ballistic missile. With one left remaining, Graves and on top of that General Shepard think they can get away scot-free if they just find the one last missile and they don't think they will need Task Force 141's help to actually do so. In this little battle, Soap and Ghost manage to escape, whereas Alejandro Vargas manages to get captured. Now, you may be wondering why would Graves do this? Well, it all comes down to money. With him being the CEO of Shadow Company, if people were to find out that they lost the ballistic missile, they would lose work from the US government and therefore cause a big problem for their company. And of course, General Shepard just wants to cover his ass and doesn't want to look bad. Did not have to be like this. Son of a bitch. Find him! But as we know, Task Force 141 manages to break the Los Vaqueros out of the prison as well as Alejandro Vargas. Their next mission is to track down and take out Grave, which they very quickly do so. You did it so. You and me, hermano, brought a gun to a tank fight. Yeah, we did. Soap the ghost. And we're ready. Graves is KIA. How's Price? Angry. Lost a good cigar in the crash. Pilot's okay too. Now. Alejandro, la base está asegurada. Graves está muerto. Vamos en camino. So just like that, we see Graves fall. Now, the one thing that I will say is when we don't see a character die in Call of Duty, they are generally not dead. So I'm still weary about the whereabouts of Graves. We never saw his body. We never saw him for that matter. So will he return? It is possible. But as for now, he is KIA. So that is the current end to Philip Graves' story. However, Shadow Company and, of course, General Shepard still remain in the wind. But all in all, that is the full story of Commander Philip Graves. Let me know what you think of his character down in the comments. If you want to see more, maybe a video on Shadow Company, be sure to hit that like button. And make sure you're subscribed and have notifications on to stay up to date on all my videos. But as always, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. And until next time, peace out. We are, we are reaching for the stars, but we're making this too hard.